anybody want some milk? Oh, does anyone want some milk? You guys are full, huh? Good babies. Good babies. When we make a decision to do a breeding um, and bring bring a litter of pups into the world, um, it, it's not without a lot of thought because uh, if, if we bring them into the world, then we're going to look after them until um, it's their time to go. There was an old timer over in New Hampshire, Ed Moody, and he was with Bird on a number of Antarctic expeditions and he built the sleds for them and he was the main dog handler for those expeditions. So uh, when Polly come back from the Yukon, her sled needed some pretty major repairs. So we took it down and spent a day in the shop with him. And I asked him if I could come back. And I did, and I spent a few more because uh, I didn't want to remake the wheel um, as far as you know what I need to know to start building dog sleds. And Ed was very generous with his time. and. Uh, you know, that we spent all day in the shop with him fixing poly sled and stuff, and he wouldn't take anything for it. He said, <laughs> he said something like, you guys have made my day. He says, you don't know how happy it makes me feel to see young folks like you carrying on this tradition. <laughs> That's the kind of guy Ed was. <laughs> yep. You don't make him like that anymore. <laughs> People live in such busy lives and, you know, the cell phones and iPods and Twittering and blogging and I mean, all of that is just like, oh my gosh, it's just going faster and faster. And when you come out and just like, you know, take a big deep breath and just be out and just slow down. And, I mean, you have to move in the rhythm of nature and what's going on. I mean, if you move too fast, nature will step you back. To me, when everything's just clicking totally, I feel like it's dream time. That's what I always say. This is dream time. Seeing what people go through personally every time they come on a trip and they do what they think they couldn't do and then they have this whole feeling of more confidence and you know I love seeing that you know it's just like this whole transformation almost. To work with the dogs as closely and this number of dogs as close as we have is uh, an energy I can't relate to anything else I've ever done. It's very moving, it's very honoring as well. So we have a kennel of a, roughly 40, the numbers vary a little bit over, a little bit under, but roughly 40 dogs. They're Yukon Huskies. Their bloodlines go back to the village of Old Crow, the northern Yukon Territory. You know, in a leader, the qualities you're looking for are brains, confidence, and devotion. That's what I look for in a leader anyway. And of the three, I would say the devotion is probably the most important because whatever other weaknesses the dog might have as a leader, if they're unbelievably devoted to you, they can overcome them. It was very easy just to have Mahoosic Guide Service come together because it was both of our dreams. And it's like whenever we come together with the same idea and purpose, it really happens pretty easily. You know, she's independent, but she's very outgoing. I'd like to see that breed of dog, those bloodlines continue long after I'm gone. And uh, <clears throat> as far as what I might be remembered for, I just, if, if I was, you know, remembered as a, as a musher that always took good care of his dogs. <laughs> yeah, that's puppy. That's probably about the most important thing to me. This is how people traveled for thousands of years. 